Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the best baked potato soup. For this recipe, you'll need six large baking potatoes, one medium onion chopped, one and a half cups of chicken broth, four tablespoons of butter, three cloves of minced garlic, a half teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of salt, one cup of heavy cream, and two cups of sour cream. This recipe is one that my dad has made for us for years. I don't think he came up with it, but I credit him for this recipe. I know I mentioned that you needed six large baking potatoes. Obviously this is more than six, but the five pound bag that I had did not have large potatoes in it. So I just kind of had to add extra in there to be about the same amount. It was a little bit of guesswork. Then I'm just going to dice the onion. I use this little chopper thing that I have it did say chop the onion, but I like ours really small, so I dice it. Then I'm just adding the onion in with potatoes. I'm gonna add just enough water to cover it. I'm gonna put it on the stove for about 15 minutes or so over medium high heat until the potatoes are fork tender. It's been about 15 minutes since they started boiling. They are definitely ready. So now I'm just gonna put a colander in the sink and drain the potatoes and onions and then add them back to the pot and mash them. You don't have to mash them as much as I do if you don't want super creamy soup. Some people like chunks of potato, but we really like it to be super creamy. So I do mash all of the lumps out as much as possible. Now I'm just adding the chicken broth, the butter, the salt and pepper and the garlic. I'm gonna mix it around and then I'm gonna put the pot back on the stove. Once you put it back on the stove, you wanna turn the eye onto about medium heat. It's not gonna take long for it to come up to a boil. And today, I think I had a little too much potato in there, so I did have to add a little more chicken broth in there. You don't want it to be completely stiff, uh, but you don't want it to be runny either. So you want a creamy consistency. But I'm just gonna warn y'all, don't walk away from this. Um, this is something that you definitely need to stay right there with and be stirring it pretty much at all times because it is going to pop really badly. Um, so you just wanna make sure you're just standing there stirring it constantly. The recipe says to do this for like 10 to 15 minutes. I usually only do it for about five. Then you add in your one cup of heavy cream and you stir that all together and bring it to a bowl. And again, it's going to pop pretty badly because it's such a thick consistency. So even though it says to bring it to a bowl, I do pretty much let it come to a bowl, but I'm stirring it constantly. And if you're noticing two different sets of hands stirring this, that's just because my son was helping me out. He likes to help me a good bit in the kitchen and I so appreciate it. So every now and then you see my hands and then you see his. <laughs> After about five minutes of constantly stirring it, I turn it down to low and I put a lid on it and let it sit for just a few more minutes. Then I remove it from the eye, which I've done here, and I add in the two cups of sour cream. Then I put it back over the heat on low heat just to heat it through. Obviously you just wanna warm the sour cream through so that the potato soup hasn't cooled down any. And I just stand there and stir it just to make sure that the sour cream is completely kind of melted through and warmed through, and then it's time to serve it. That's it. I should have grabbed a ladle instead of using this little spoon, but I didn't want to dirty up something else, so I just went with it. We just top it with cheese and bacon bits and green onions, make it kind of like a loaded baked potato soup, and it is so good. I think my son went back and got thirds on this night. I've been to many restaurants and ordered baked potato soup, and it's never as good as this, I promise. I hope you'll give it a shot. Give it a thumbs up if you plan on giving it a shot and trying it with your family. And let me know below, do you put something different on top of your baked potato soup? I'd love to hear what you do. 
Thank y'all so much for watching. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. I do cooking videos pretty often, sharing lots of great recipes. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.